Thank you so much to the men's ensemble for that inspiration. Good morning. Namaskar. I behold the spirit in you. My name is Andrea Pitts, a student of the Barbara King School of Ministry and your pulpit assistant for this morning's service. Welcome to Hillside International Truth Center, where we're committed to transforming the lives by practicing and demonstrating the teachings of Jesus the Christ. Thank you for choosing Hillside as your place of worship. You make the difference. Now let's begin this Sunday as we do every Sunday by gently enfolding our body temples and loving ourselves. As I say my name and I love you three times, you say your name and I love you three times. Andrea, I love you. Andrea, I love you. Andrea, I love you. Now we know that love is the most healing and harmonizing power in the universe. And love is fulfilled and multiplied when we give it away. So share some love with the person to your left and to your right. standing for our opening statement, which is the prayer for protection, and hold hands as we sing the Lord's Prayer, which you will find on the first page. The light of God surrounds us. The love of God enfolds us. The power of God protects us. The presence of God watches over us. Wherever we are, God is. Wherever I am, God is. Thank you, God, in me, through me, as me, around me, through the Christ within, and so it is.
You may be seated. Would all first time visitors please stand and remain standing so we may greet you. The greeters are giving you a visitor's packet. You will find in your packet information about Hillside as well as our own monthly devotional guide, Daily Thoughts from the Hill, which we will use later. We invite you to join us at the front of the sanctuary immediately following the service. We have a gift for you and want to continue to extend our Hillside love to you. Hillside, let us greet our visitors as we do all our friends. We love you, we bless you, we appreciate you, and we thank God for you. You may be seated. Good morning. Good morning. Namaskar. Namaskar. I love you. I bless you. I appreciate you. And I truly thank God for you. I have a young man with me from the Christ Conscious Kids Club who is going to read the daily thought from children and he's going to tell you who he is. Namaskar. I behold the Christ in you. My name is Miles China, a sixth grade Christ conscious kid. T today is Sunday, November 30th, 2014. Please repeat the affirmation with me three times. Live in the positive. Live in the positive. Live in the positive. Live in the positive. In the positive. Let go of the past. If you hold on to the past, you will get sick. Do not hold on to the bad things that happened in the past. Think about good things that can happen in the present. It's okay to grieve. Do not be afraid. I had a dog when I was three years old. I loved him. I was mad about not being able to keep him. I had to release the past. I miss him now, and I affirm that everything will go well, and everything did go well. I will not forget him. I know he is safe. This was written by Sanaya Hogan. Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. Psalms 136.1. Thank you. Beautiful. Did you hear that? Release the past. Let it go. Um, these children never cease to amaze me with the thoughts that they have. So let's turn to our lesson for today. Today is November 30th. It's the last day of the month. We're almost to the end of the year. I spoke with Dr. Barbara last night. She is doing well. She said to send you her love. So we're going to send her love right back. And she will be back next Sunday. So we look forward to having our founder minister back at home. But she needed the break. She needed the rest and just relax. So let us take our affirmation three times together. My life is the life of God. My life is the life of God. My life is the life of God. Wherever you look, you will see the reflection of God. God is the light that sustains plants, animals, humans, the whole planet. This life is eternal, and it is our life, forever expressing and evolving through and as us. God is not far off somewhere in the clouds, taking notes of human wrongdoings. God is unconditional love. God loves us all. Creation, its nature is to love to accept us just as we are. A conscious realization of this truth will set you free. Breath is life, life is God. This life is my life. I am always connected to God. 
Wherever I am, I know that God is. God is the activity of my life. I take time to be with God in stillness and meditation. The healing power of God is healing my spirit, mind, and body. Every time I breathe, I'm breathing God. I trust that God is with me always in spite of external circumstances. When life feels overwhelming, I rest in God. When I'm experiencing harmony, I rest in God. I live, move, and have my being in God. Thank you, renunciation, in me, through me, as me, around me, through the Christ within, and so it is. I and my Father are of one accord. Now let us set everything aside as we get comfortable in our seats, placing our feet flat on the floor, realizing that our feet represent understanding. And as we place them flat on the floor, it symbolizes having a firm grasp of earthly conditions. And we place our hands in a comfortable position in our laps, whether palms up or palms down. As we gently close our eyes, closing out the outer and going within, letting go of everything that came before this very moment. And let us just take three deep breaths. Breathe in. Release. Breathe in. Release. Breathe in and release with a sigh. Breathe in. Release. We realize that breath is life and life is God. And the life of God is flowing through each of us from the crown of our heads to the very soles of our feet. And now we sit in the silence as we still ourselves and let God love us.
letting go.